What's up, world? Welcome to the rooftop session. Shot right here live at the Jim Mill, 1411 South Tryon Street. I'm your host, Beans, from Sky My Entertainment. And today is a special feature presentation from Carolina Music Lab artists Tamika Chavon and Charles Mack. We have here today Tamika Chavon from Carolina Music Lab. First of all, I want to thank you for coming out. Well, thank you. I just depend on what we're doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. All right. So what we want to do here on this show is get to the truthful side of the artist. So you get to see them for who they are as an individual and as an artist. So, you all got to ask. Okay. Where you from? Charlotte, QC, right here. Originally? You are native? Originally, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So we the last of a dying breed. Not too many people still born and raised here live here. Right. Know? So it's a good thing. How's that make you feel anyway? Good. Real good. I love my hometown. Yeah? Yeah. Like, you put on for your city. Yeah, I put on. I put on for my city. I heard that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Because, I mean, the thing is, is that the Queen City needs representatives. The Queen City needs people that can come in and do their thing and show love and expect love in return, right? That's right. Is that not the biggest feeling in the world to do a show and have your own town come out? Yes, it is. It's a great feeling. Okay. Well, let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right. Okay. How'd you come into being a singer? Or an artist, so to speak. Woo. Man, I really don't know. Like, just growing up, I always loved music. Like, in the church, in the church choir with my grandmother, you know, five and you know, I just love doing the music. Thing. Okay. All right. So, it won't be a generic statement when they say, yeah, we won't talk about Tamika Javon. You know, she grew up in the church. Or, it won't be generic because, you know, no. a lot of artists try to use that as a way to gain people's trust and getting in our heart, you know? So that's not a generic statement for you? No, I'm real. All right. Uh, so you've been in choir since you was five? Yeah. Ooh. Started at five, yeah. Nowadays, you're going to Bedside Baptist, though, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you didn't try to do that. I'm just saying. Ooh. You know Bedside Shame. Baptist. You, you wake up about 10.15, yeah. supposed to be at 10.30. Uh, <laughs> hit the snooze button twice. No, no comment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can take that. I can take that. All right. So as far as you being an artist, how would you describe your style? How would you describe yourself? What you bring to the table as an individual artist for Carolina Music Lab? Wow. Uh, sexy. Crazy sexy cool. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll do the R&B thing. I can rap. So I guess unique, uniqueness, versatility. Okay. Yeah. Which is much needed in the game nowadays, right? Right. Okay, so that brings me to my next question. <laughs> now, you know I got to put you on the spot, okay? Okay. Okay. Who do you feel that's in the game right now that's a national recording artist? Who do you feel that's in the game right now? Okay. Like, who do you like? Who do you bump in your car? Honestly, Beyonce. Beyonce? That's my girl. Okay, why? Why Beyonce? Why? Because and she gives you your money's worth. Like, she okay. puts on a show. Okay. I can respect that. Yeah. I can respect that. And some of Jay Z's money too. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for sure. Okay, so that being said, being that Beyonce is a megastar, so to speak, right. in the uh, music industry, is that what Tamika Javon wants to be? Yeah. On that level? Yes. Yeah? Yes. All right, for sure. How hard is it to get there? Hard. Very? Very. Um, why, why, why is that so? I mean, tell me, give me, give me some, some pointers because I'm not really clear on how it, how, how it goes down in the industry. I know you have a lot of people that have a lot of talent, uh -huh. but it seems like some that don't have as much talent uh -huh. seem to slip through the cracks and get the deals that artists that do have talent should be getting. So can you explain that to me? Ooh, well, you have to be persistent. That's the biggest part. Don't give up. Okay. You know, I always say that don't ever give up on your dreams. You just got to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing. When somebody tells you you ain't doing good enough, you know, don't get mad. You know, listen to what they're saying. You know, and take that and go on. Take the correct, yeah, the, the, the corrective criticism. Yeah, the corrective and constructive, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. For all you kids at home watching this, you heard what Timothy Javon said. You never give up. You always pursue your dream. Never give up. No matter what. Even if someone who you think is a lesser caliber artist than you that gets on, that gives you more reason to keep pushing. So that brings me to my next thing. Oh, who do you not like in the industry? Be honest. Uh, just tell it. I don't have no one I, I don't want. I appreciate everyone. You appreciate everyone? Yeah. For the simple being that they're just artists or they're expressing themselves because, the way they want to? Yeah, because they express themselves the way they want okay. to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. I Everybody understand. has their own look on life and For what sure. they do. Yeah. All right, because you know you got a lot of artists that are haters in the game, you know? Yeah. 
I ain't gonna say no names or anything like that. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is that if you're not doing your job well, uh -huh. you don't have haters. But if you are doing your job well, you do have haters. Exactly. Okay, so that's completely understandable. So maybe those artists that have haters. I'm not saying any names. These views of mine aren't specific to anyone. Now, Carolina Music Lab, and well, they're kind of specific to uh, Sky My Entertainment. I'm just saying. But <laughs> I mean, really, in all honesty, you say that you rap. Uh huh. What do you think about the Walker Flockers and the Soldier Boys? Is it you? <laughs> do you consider that quality music, or is that just mindless? Let's go to the club and get wasted music. I think that's party music. Party music. Yeah. Party music. Okay, that's, a clean, a, that's party. a clean, yeah. clean way of saying mindless. Let's get wasted music. Party music. Okay, I, you Keep see, she didn't fall for party. it. I'm with that. I'm with that. See, like I said, the views expressed here on rooftop session do not necessarily belong to anyone <laughs> other than the individual answering the question. All right. So, in five years, how do you see it happening for you? Within the next five years, from today being day one on the calendar. To five years from now today where do you see Tamika Chavar? I see my name in lights that's what I see for real in five years yeah Damn. okay yeah. well that's a bold statement yeah. so obviously you have confidence within yourself that you can achieve those goals right I think I'm talented enough to make okay it, you know, for sure have the talent. well we're, they're definitely gonna get a taste of that mm -hmm. in just a little bit you know they're gonna get a, get a chance to experience Tamika <laughs> Chavar. go TJ on, on the stage and do a thing. So, serious question. All right. All right. Being that you're in a relationship, in the game, okay, how is that? I mean, is it is it hard to maintain? Is it easy to maintain? You know, because you got a lot of groupies and hanger hangers on and people that criticize or try to undercut. You know, you know how it is when you when you're in a committed relationship, but you're also an artist. You know, people are trying to see that as a way to interject and get in. How do you deal with that? How does that make you feel? Well, for those who are in a relationship, you just have to be able to separate yourself, know your limits, know your boundaries, and respect each other. You know, respect your fans. Don't take it to a level it doesn't need to be at. You know, gotcha. Like so if your fans send you text messages, <laughs> don't answer. All right? Don't answer. You hear what she said? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm married. Okay? And, um,. In all honesty, me and my wife had had some serious discussions about, you know, people taking things too far uh -huh. or saying things at a show. And, and if I smile at somebody, they can read it as I'm playing into what they're trying to do. You know, because you got a lot of people out here that don't care about people's boundaries. They're just like, well, shit, I'm just saying, how you doing? You know? So that being said, I respect the fact that you are in a committed relationship and still being an artist and maintaining that boundary of artists relationship, fan base, commitment to your label. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes a lot, right? To balance? Yeah. It does? Yeah, it takes a lot. How much? On a scale of one to ten. A ten. A ten. A ten. Yeah. So it's hard, hard work. work. Hard work. Mm -hmm. But never give up though, right? That's your message, right? Right. Okay. Don't ever give For sure. up. Who is your most influential individual in your life right now? Oh God. God? Yeah, you can say that. Okay, yeah, you can say that. Yeah. I mean, we in the Bible Belt. There is no get out of. You can say anything <laughs> you want to say. I mean, I'm just you know, saying. No, you say individual, you know. Yeah. Some people think human. Right, exactly. Earth. But individual could, you know, mean yeah. high power or, for some, substance. Right. Or individual as a human being is concerned. Okay, I understand that. I dig that. I dig that. I dig that. So let me ask you this. What drives you as an artist? Is it the money? Is it the love of the game? Or is it just the fact that you get to get your voice heard, your message across? Which one is it? I just love doing the music, man. I like I want people to appreciate what I'm doing. Like you say, I want people to hear it and say, Well, I can do that too. You know, say I really like that song, let me try that. You know what I'm saying? I wanna do it, you know, just to keep the dream alive and everybody. So you you yeah. your goal, your main objective is to inspire? Inspire, yes. Yeah. Okay, so for all you aspiring artists out there, Tamika Javon is here to inspire you. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm cool with that. I deal with that. Because a lot of artists out here, as you very well know, are into it for, let me get paid, I'm going to say whatever I need to say on the mic to make y'all move, and I'm out of here. Which is not, in my mind, quality music.